What's going on guys, Auto here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have released their first moments duo and it is going to be Mura with Nakamura. Now Nakamura has got the 4 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot, high low work crates and he is a 5 foot 10 player as well. And it's literally the complete opposite for Mura. He's got 3 star skill moves, a 4 star weak foot, he has got high low work crates same as Nakamura and he is a 5 foot 10 player. I must admit I'm looking at the stats by the way and I'm actually impressed. Like the stats look really really good and EA have done a great job at like upgrading the stats because giving him a hunter chem stole is making this guy have 9 95 acceleration and 98 sprint speed so you know this guy as soon as he gets in behind not many players is going to be able to catch or catch up to him and that is why by the way i have applied the hunter chem style to him because i feel like Mura is going to be one of those players that you're not going to obviously collect the ball with you're going to go for a few turns to try to take players on because the three star skill moves is never going to make that easy so the way i want to use him is as a player that gets in behind and he's obviously as fast as possible so he can get away from the defender. But look at the shooting stats. Even without the Hunter Kemsar, let's ignore the Hunter Kemsar for now, right? He's got 96 attack and positioning, 89 finishing, and 83 shot power with 83 long shots, 84 volleys, and 80 penalties as well. The shooting stats without the Hunter Kem style is actually really good. Now, with the Hunter Kem style, it's crazy. Like, just straight up crazy. I'm not expecting him to miss any, like, guaranteed angles, let's say. Now, when it comes down to the shooting traits, unfortunately, he does not have any. The passing ability looks okay for a striker. The dribbling ability looks pretty good as well. And the physicals, the one thing I love to see there is obviously the stamina being 84. And I know he is going to be a player that lasts for the whole 90 minutes. And if we are taking a look at the Nakamura card, we're looking at a huge increase to the pace with obviously the Hunter Kemsar as well. 98 acceleration with 95 sprint speed. Another insanely fast player. The shooting ability is also looking top tier. His passing ability is looking immaculate, let's say, especially for a cam. His dribbling ability is looking immaculate. Like, what is this? This Nakamura card doesn't look like a joke at all. He looks like he's about to be an outrageously, outrageously good cam. And on top of that, he has got the same stamina as your boy Mura, so 84 stamina. We're going to be doing a double review in a single video, something we haven't done ever. We've never, ever done, done it. So we're going to do it for Mura, and we're obviously going to do it for your boy Nakamura as well. Now, I am obviously going to be playing both of them in a striker positions because of the high-low work rate, so it's going to be a 4-4-2, both of them in the striker positions, but... I definitely do want to try them in their natural position. So I will switch it to like a 4 2 3 1 with Nakamura playing Cam and Mura playing in that striker position. So let's get into the games. Nakamura play that ball. Kazu. Good. Can I go for the finesse shot as well? What a finish. Okay. I was not expecting him to score at that kind of angle. I thought the block was actually going to happen, but we'll take the goal. Get past him, Mbappe. Keep it going. I'm just going to fake shot this. Give it to Nakamura. X ball it into Kazu. Imagine bicycle kick. No way. Oh, for a second. For a second. Give it to him. There you go. Go for that fake shot. Play it into the inside. Nakamura, by the way, with some very nice movement. You know what? I'm going to believe in him. I tried to see if I can obviously hit it onto his stronger foot there. We did. It's just, it was an okay shot. It looked like it got hit with a good amount of power. It's just the accuracy just wasn't there. I'm just going to cut in early. Anyone going to give me that passing option? I see Kazu. Kazu, can you hit it towards him here, folks? Yes, you can. Shooting ability right now, definitely looking up there. That was like a hard angle as well. And he still put it into the back of the net. Go on, Mbappe. We'll roll scoop this. That's a nice cut in. RBA to Mura. And just like that, we got ourselves a cheeky hat trick. Three goals already, by the way, for Mura in 33 minutes. Go for a few dribbles there. There you go. We turn him inside out. I must admit, like, look how he's feeling on the ball. Nice, precise little touches from uh, Mura there. Let me see if I can just go for a few circles here. You see what I mean? You see those little tight touches there? That's something I really do like about him. Like, he's one of those players that doesn't take a long time to turn. Like, you can go for those instant touches. Go, Mbappe. Go. Use that pace. There you go. Double way that. Nakamura. Gonna go for that fake shot. Go for the finesse shot at a decent angle it was not a tight angle at all but the save comes off clutch and can i get this ball ea how many rebounds please oh my god please e e i'm gonna hear an rba to him there you go that's a decent touch as well go for that ball roll i'm gonna see if i can just smack it across goal and wow what a finish just straight up what a finish top pins and everything 
Go Drax and run. There you go. I see you into the inside there, Mura. Extra pass. Nakamura, can you finish your dinner? Obviously, you can, man. Let's go. Okay, I take, give it to him. Nice. Good touch. Very good turn. Can I get the volley as well? Check. What a save, man. I didn't expect, by the way, that extra touch where it flicked it up. I did not expect it, but it kind of worked out for the best. Is Mura actually came short? Hold up a second. Face shot this. Turn him. Nice. Full roll. Should we go for it? Tight angle. Unreal animation, by the way. Probably the best finesse animation in this game. Because majority of the time, when they get in that kind of animation, the ball goes into the back of the net. But this time, it hits the crossbar. Go Nakamura. Use that pace. Just keep it going. Mura, I do see you. But I don't see no movement. You know, I need that aggressive run kind of there. But it's fine. Fake shot that. Scoot turn. Look at this, man. Okay, anyone going to make a run? Or we're just going to be dribbling here. There you go. Mura gave me a nice option. I'm actually going to believe, by the way. I'm going to believe in that four-star weak foot. And look at that, man. I'm telling you, Mura's shooting ability, impressive. Very impressive. Mura, just go for that ball roll. There you go. Going to go for an LBY now. Just switch the play to Mbappe. This is a bit of a gamble, but it's worked out. And it's worked out for the best. That RBA from Mbappe, unreal. But look at the finish. Going to tell Nakamura to maybe get in behind here. There you go. Go for that through ball now. I can't believe that actually stayed on. See what I can do here. Look how Nakamura, by the way, feels on the ball. Very nice and precise with the skill moves. Fade that out. Fake shot. Lakuketa around him. Go for the finesse shot. I tried it at a tight angle just to see if it went in. But obviously it doesn't. Nice. Mira, I just need you to use your pace here. This is why I gave you that Hunter Kem style. This is against who? It's against Gomez. Can I get past him? I can't get past him. But look how lucky we actually get. Look at it dribbling, by the way. Just look at it, man. Can I continue fighting for it? No, I cannot. That's the thing with uh, Mira, right? When you get him in those kind of situations, you want to pull off like a skill move to beat that player 1v1. It's just because he's got three star skill moves, it's not going to happen. Can we get this to go in? No, we can't. Good save from Lloris. Chip it over. And again, take a touch. Nice. Unreal turn. Fake shot that. Lakoketa around him. Go for that across goal finish. And look at that for a finish, man. I see you, Nakamura, making that run. It's a good ball. We'll roll that. Can I get that to him? Unreal pass. Wow. Splitting the two players as well, completely in half, allowing the ball just to go straight through the middle. I mean, it was a tap in for Mura. Give it early. Pass it up. Nice. Can I get that? Come on. There you go. Nakamura. Fake that out a little bit. Fake shot that. Lakuketa around for doubt. I'm telling you guys, the way Nakamura is feeling right now, it's dangerous. It's straight up dangerous. Like his dribbling ability is unreal. Just going to give that up to Nakata. There you go. Just give that to Nakamura. Go for a few turns and just smack a ball all the way to the other side. Look how good his passing is, man. Like, what is this? I kind of want Mura to come short there, and that's exactly what he did. So I can go for the cross goal finish, and we can get ourselves a goal. I'll rip up. Move forward a little bit. There you go. Play that ball early. Give it up. One more. Go. Can I get, get around him? Oh, my God. I can't believe I've just fake shotted, right? And the keepers completely took out his defender. Quick one, two, maybe. There you go. Look at the two linking up with each other. Great use of pace. A pass across goal. That would have been beautiful. The link up play. Perfect. Literally perfect. Maybe I should have just took a shot at Nakamura, man. Turn there. Well played, Mura. Good dribbling as well. Can I give it back to him? Look at the link up. Please. No Castils, bro. I mean, it really wasn't that great of a shot, though, was it? It really wasn't. He should have done better. I'm actually going to see, by the way, on a freestyle week for a match. On a freestyle week... What have I just witnessed? What, nah, nah, nah. EA, what is that? He's on a three-star weak foot, and it flies in like that? No shot, man. Come on, Mbappe. I know you can get onto that. There you go, man. That's what you want to see from Mbappe. RBA that? No, that's not the wrong person, but it's worked out, and it hasn't worked out. That was green as well. You best believe Nakamura was putting that ball into the back of the net. I'm going to tell Mura to get in behind. I want to go for that overtop through there and look at that, man. I'm telling you guys, I feel like that's the way. Oh my, I promise to you guys, I promise I chip that. That's a chip. That's the worst chip I have ever witnessed in my entire life. But we will take the goal. But as I was saying, man, I feel like that's the way you have to use him. A person that obviously gets in behind, you play that overtop through ball and not many defenders are going to catch up to him. So it is time to review and we ended up playing five games with Mura. We actually went ahead and scored seven goals and we also came out with a single assist as well. And for Nakamura, we scored seven goals and came out with four assists. So both of them scoring seven goals in 
five games. Absolutely unbelievable, by the way. Link up play between the two. Like, one thing I would definitely say about Mura, which I didn't expect to be as good as it actually was, was one, the dribbling ability and to the shooting ability this guy this guy was scoring at any angles left foot right foot i couldn't believe it it was flying into the back of the net and the dribbling ability as well you look at the dribbling stats right and you think to yourself okay he's gonna feel okay on the ball but nothing crazy but Mura with the left stick dribbling it's there man it definitely definitely is there obviously it's not as good as Nakamura's because Nakamura's dribbling ability was it was unreal like I'm gonna tell you guys straight up it was absolutely unreal especially with the four star skill moves he had it's like you can beat players one on one for pretty much fun with Mura obviously you're limited on what you can do 1v1 because of the skill moves he actually has but he still felt really nice on the ball I'm impressed I straight up am man like I knew both of them we're going to be aggressive players. I knew they wanted to make runs in behind. Mura, I would say, actually had better positioning in the strike position than Nakamura. I felt like Mura actually came short way more often. Well, Nakamura, he was one of those players that just... He just wanted to get in behind. He wanted to be the person that got, that got over top through ball and obviously, you know, have a 1v1 with their keeper. Even when I play him in a cam position, he didn't want to play there. He, he didn't want to stick in that cam position. He wanted to be the person that was scoring the, go scoring the goals. So he was just consistently, consistently making runs in behind. Now, which one do I personally prefer? Do I prefer, Na prefer Nakamura or do I prefer Mura? I would definitely say Nakamura. The thing about him, right, is... The skill moves come off so nicely with him. The dribbling ability is crazy good. His passing ability, immaculate. The shooting ability as well, that left foot is an absolute bullet of a shot. And the pace as well, he's got it, man. He definitely has got it. And I definitely do suggest, by the way, the Hunter Chem style on both of them. I definitely do feel like it's the way to go. But yeah, if I had to pick one and one only, I would go for Nakamura. Now, Nakamura is going for like 50,000 coins, while Mura is going for like 30,000 coins. Do I believe it's worth it? 100% I do. Like, I understand Mura isn't very meta, let's say, with obviously, you know, the three-star skill moves and all. It's just, it's a fun card, an extremely fun card to use. And the fact that you can get it for 30,000 coins is amazing. And obviously, the 50k for Nakamura is definitely worth it. Like, 50,000 coins for a card like this. Trust me, you get this card, you will not be disappointed. Now, where would I put him? In the attacker's tier list. Hmm. Nakamura, even though he's got a three-star weak foot, he is a ridiculously, ridiculously good player, man. And I would definitely say he goes into like an A minus. Now, Mura, because he hasn't got the skill moves, I would put him into the B section. I definitely would. So yeah, Mura, B, uh, Nakamura. A minus. He definitely does deserve it, man. His card is crazy. I cannot believe how this guy was feeling on the ball. Now, the disappointing thing about this is the fact that I believe this is the last year they're going to be in FIFA. Unless they move club into another, like, Japanese league, let's say. Uh, the Japanese, Japanese club, sorry. The reason is that is because they're bottom of the table and they are getting relegated. And obviously, the other Japanese league, let's say, is not in FIFA. So, this could be the last time that you use a Nakamura and Mura in FIFA. So I'll be very, very disappointed if you if you guys do not go ahead and actually get these two. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.